welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to study for pharmacology, okay? So this is a little setup, you know, and a lot of candle. It's going to get serious in here and about a study. Snapchat is buzzing, but we're not going to listen. And, uh... Cool. So after, you know, the mood is set, let's get down to work. So, of course, we have our pens and our farm flash, our markers, white paper, a colored jewel paper, and whatever textbook you use to study, as well as your Saunders and a notebook. This notebook is what I used uh, towards my last semester of nursing school. This is when I really started working smarter and not harder. So basically I study in three phases. This is on the last phase and I have a notebook that is just for my study guide, my study reviews, matrix, whatever you want to call them. I transcribe them to here and so leading up to the last two, three days of studying, I have this with me and then I also have um, practice questions with me and I'm going back and forth. Okay, so I tabbed this book out based on the... Um, the different topics we covered so whenever let's say I'm going back studying for the semester final or the um, the midterm or whatever let's say we're studying coronary artery disease I have it tabbed I pull up and here's all my notes concerning coronary artery disease and let's say we're studying um, ICP I pull up and right there ICP just kidding right here Okay, and as you can see, I really do color code everything. I am a visual learner, um, and so this is what I found best to help me study. So that's why it's all colored, okay? And coloring it and writing different colors does not phase me. It's like, it's not extra work for me. I enjoy doing it, so it doesn't cut into my time. It gives me, keeps me engaged, though. So yes, looks like a coloring book, but no, it is my study guidebook. Today, we'll be talking about how to study for pharmacology. So let's just pick a random topic like, um, let's say, anaphylactic shock, okay? So I'm going to flip to my section where I already wrote out my notes for it. Just kidding, it's somewhere. There we go. I'm going to get it. I'm going to find it. A few moments later. There. So this is how I wrote out shock and the different types of shock but for this video we're only going to focus on the pharmaceutical uh, means to resolving a patient with anaphylact anaphylactic shock okay so yes this is how i study sorry if it's crooked but anyway this is anaphylactic shock and basically anaphylactic shock is a severe allergic reaction and i just quickly jotted down the signs and symptoms so in my head i would say stuff like okay so my patient comes in itching and scratching um they're wheezing they cannot breathe and they just had um, went to a birthday party and they had something that had nuts in it, you know, so those, that, that's the way I kind of prep my mind for studying for my exams. So the first thing we look at the treatments, always airways, 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 you want to remove the allergies, now on to the medication. So with the medication, I refer back to my wonderful farm flash. I'm not sponsored by them, but by golly geez, I tell y'all get this, this will make your life a whole lot easier. So the first card I already pulled up is epinephrine, sorry if you can't see it with the glare, but um, it's an adrenergic, <laughs> adrenergic agent that helps to vasoconstrict as well as bronchodilate. I already wrote it down, I you know color coded it, and uh, basically what it does is it helps your lungs expand so you can get more oxygen and it vasoconstricts so that your blood goes to more pertinent and crucial area like your brain, your lungs, and your kidney. All right, because perfusion is very, very crucial. So, of course, based on the farm flash, I just took little snippets that are important. And also, you want to focus on what the professor and structure um, nitpicks and focuses on. You want to highlight that and make that important for you to know. So, a big thing for us was assess. What do you assess? What do you assess? So, you want to assess the blood pressure, lung sounds, operation, EKGs. And you want to be aware that epinephrine can cause arrhythmias. So, make sure they're hooked up to the EKG you know, so you can monitor your heart rhythm. Second medication is um, Benadryl dihydramine. There we go, Benadryl. So it's an antihistamine, it decreases the cut cutaneous symptoms. So the, all that itching, um, it 
helps handle that. And last we have methoprednisone, and so basically that's the corticoid steroids and they're used to decrease inflammation. So this is just a quick simple video just showing you how I study and of course I visual learner so I printed out a picture of what anaphylactic shock may look like from Pinterest as I mentioned in a previous video and so that way when I'm thinking of anaphylactic shock I can look back at this and you can see that these are choking the airways so respiration is key they're itching and it could be caused by iodine or food allergies etc so this is how I study for pharmacology and this is also shows you a little bit of how I ooh, I spelled that wrong how I study for um, my test in nursing school so hopefully this helps if it did go ahead and comment subscribe share and um, leave me comments on how you study and what are your struggle areas to see if I can be of any help but as always see you on Friday and thank you for watching